Hey there, YouTubers. Right, so in this video, going to demonstrate how to make this simple little object here using the revolve feature. So we're going to basically create a solid and using revolve, and then we'll remove some material using revolve. All right. So let's go ahead and start a new part. File new part. And, you know, depending on your setup, you may or may not see your plane. So if we come in here and basically uh, click one and then select to the bottom one and then turn on visibility, there's your plane. All right. I'm going to come over here, use free orbit, rotate this a little right mouse click okay all right so first thing we want to do and we don't have to necessarily do this first um, if we were only doing one object and we were going to revolve it around an axis we could create the axes inside of the feature but I'm going to create this axis outside of the feature so um, let's come over here intersection of two planes down here it asks select a plane so we want to give it the first plane and then select another plane and I want it in this orientation okay there's my axes now now that we've got that let's go ahead and do a revolve so I'm going to click on the plane I want to revolve on which you know I think 90% of the time I'm drawing on the XY plane. All right, so we're in here. And I could, you know, revolve a bunch of rectangles to make that shape. I'm going to sketch with lines. Uh, and I want to start right here in the middle, the very middle. Come out. Then draw 90 down. Then come over here, draw down. And again, 90, and then back there, all right? And we're done. That, now we gotta put some dimensions on here, folks. So we'll go with a radius of 0.5. And I wanna control my overall length. We'll do it, change it up a little from the uh, what I did before. We'll do one inch. And then I can either control this or, or this guy. I think I want to control this. And we'll make that 0.75. All right. Now that we've done that, folks, uh, are we missing any dimensions? Now the software will probably accept this, but... Let's say I want to control this radius value here. I'm going to put one more dimension in here. Make that 0.25. All right. Exit sketch. Now, if you read down here at the bottom, select axes. So it wants to know the axes. We created that one earlier. And it uh, had already grabbed the profile. So we're good there. If I want to change this from 360 to some other value, let's say we want to go 180, we could do that. And of course I accidentally hit enter and, and went out. So if we double click on this, that brings it back up. I want my 360 back. Yep, and once again. Now, if there was something we wanted to name this, we could. Uh, why don't we just call it Revolve 1. Revolve. Alright. And that's, that's how easy it is to revolve something. Now, of course, you could have much more complex sketches, which may get you in trouble. Um, you noticed I had a groove cut out of this. I could have put that in there. 
to be honest with you, when you have different features, and let's say you're actually manufacturing this, um, unless this whole thing was cast, I like to always make those separate features that, that might be done in the machine process, uh, machining process separate features, okay? So uh, maybe f realistically I should have started, I should have just revolved a, a rectangle and then come back and cut this out and then maybe come in and cut the groove out, right? But, or maybe, you know, uh, this is my initial part and now I'm going to machine it with this groove in. So different ways to do it, but let's go ahead and do another revolve. This time we're going to remove material. Wants to know what plane we want to sketch on. We want that one. I'm using the wheel mouse to uh, come in and out. Now our view, not so good uh, to see these sketches when you, you've got this going on. So let's do wireframe with hidden edges. All right. So now we want to come back over to here. Sorry, let's, uh, let's do that again, folks. If you need to get rid of a sketch, come over here and delete. All right, starting over again with that. So we made this up so we could see visibly a little better. Let's do our revolve again. Once again, asking us for a plane, we want this one. And now we want to sketch our groove in, all right? So some softwares, you can you could sketch this rectangle outside of this and dimension it. Um, inventor, pretty one, much want to make sure it's constrained. So we're going to remove material. If we weren't removing material, it wouldn't matter as much. I could sketch this rectangle out here, and then it would it would create that feature, right? But since we're cutting, um, removing from a solid, you want this inside of the solid. So we're going to put some dimensions on here. And of course, I grabbed the center point, which I didn't want uh, from here to there. So I'll just say 0.03. Then I want this distance here, say 0.07. And then we want to locate this. So I could grab that midpoint if I wanted to, or I could come in here and do it this way. And I think we'll put that up 0.08. All right. So we have all the dimensions we need. Click on sketch. It brings us back to this menu. And we're going to cut it out in this section. Um, all right. So it's asking for the axes again. And looks good. Now I could, I could edit this. I could make it bigger if I wanted to. If I don't. Let's go ahead and click OK. And just so we can see it, let's go back to View, Realistic. And there it is, folks. There's our part. All right. Hopefully you got something out of this. If you did, please like it. Please subscribe. Thank you. I'll have a lot more of these tutorials in the future.